Welcome to Devil Dog Arena here in the first round here of the Pettigeen Classic. I'm JB Brazil alongside me, longtime favorite Matt McJunkins. Matt's been the first broadcast that we've done here since the end of the football season. What a good football season it was in historic fashion. Greenbrier goes undefeated until the semifinals falls to Pulaski Academy to end the season 12-1, and one, but an incredible season nonetheless. Absolutely, JB. It was a great, great, great season. It was historical and, you know, an undefeated team and leads us right into an undefeated Greenbrier basketball team, 7-0. Great segue. Greenbrier coming into tonight, 7-0. Overall, playing a team that has four losses, BB's three and four on the year, but they're right in a two-game winning streak after a 20-point loss to North Little Rock. This is the first game for both teams here in the Classic here in Devil Dog Arena, and it's our first broadcast, our first live look at the Panther basketball squad. We're excited for it, and we're anticipating a good one. You know, BB... Greenbrier and BB started off the season in football first game of the year. Greenbrier went in there and took care of business yeah. on the road. The basketball season's obviously a little bit different. Greenbrier trying to come out on top against BB. We're about 30 seconds away from tip off. What are your keys to the game, Matt? Well, you know, BB is going to be uh, probably the best team that we've played up to this point. Uh, Riley Marshall is going to score a lot. Uh, that's just what he does. He's a Harding University uh, commit. Uh, I think you'll see Brooks Nell score a lot. Uh, but, you know, if, we, if we'll make good decisions with the basketball, you know, go at them in the paint, use our size, and then uh, free up some open shots outside, and, and we just got to be efficient. Uh, sure. What I've seen from this ball club of, of Greenbrier so far this year is when, we're, when we don't go cold at some point in the game, we're really hard to beat. We went cold against uh, Moulton and still pulled it out in the end. But we were up pretty big early in the second half and, and just kind of went cold shooting and then picked it up at the end. So as long as this, this, you know we can make good shots, keep the keep the ball going through the basket, we'll be fine. You know, Greenbrier's got a really good squad. Obviously, we said they're undefeated. We're going to take it down to the court for the starting lineups. We'll be right back. And now our second matchup today is the BB Badgers taking on the Greenbrier Panthers. And now the starting lineup of the Greenbrier Panthers, number three, Jay. Well, there you go. As you heard at the starting lineups for both sides, Greenbrier is going to go with Jace Dunlap, Jack Runzik, Hayes Johnson, Aiden Berry, and Reese Jones. Four of those guys are underclassmen. Reese Jones is the only senior out on the floor. And for the BB Badgers, Zach Brewer, Conley Hercamp, Noah Hershider, Riley Marshall, and Brooks Nell. And we're just about set to jump center. Hayes Johnson will be set to jump center with Riley Marshall. The head ref gives the signal. The ball's in the air, and the opening tip's going to be won by Greenbrier. We're just underway. The shot clock will be in effect tonight. Jack Runzik will have the ball on the top of the key. Looks to set up a play. Right wing bounce pass over on the low block. It goes to Johnson. Back up top to Runzik. Looking to design a play. 20 on the shot clock. Kicks it to Jones left wing. To Barry, top of the key. Looks to drive. Over it goes to Johnson again. 
14 to shoot. Johnson looking to drive. Now he hands it off to Barry. Barry up top, runs it. Spin move through the lane. Ball fake. Jump shot in the lane. Won't go. And BB gets the rebound. 7.26 to go in the opening quarter underway. They'll kick it out over in the corner. It goes to Brewer back up top, and they'll give it to Riley Marshall. Marshall to Hershider. They'll go back up top to Brewer, and they look to set it up. Hershider again right wing. Hayes Johnson's on him. Or excuse me, that was Aiden Barry. Now they've got to drive left wing. Brewer through the lane, lays it up and in, and Brewer's got two points. First points of the game for either side. Greenbrier on the other end, Reese Jones. Gets it up high to Aiden Barry. Barry goes over to Dunlap, right wing. Top of the key, Johnson. He'll hand it off to Reese Jones with 20 seconds in the shot clock. Barry, left wing, gets a screen out high from Jones. Tried to drive and steal it. There was Marshall, but he couldn't do it. Runs it, right wing. Now he drives. Picks up his dribble on the high post. Right wing it goes now to Johnson. 6.36 to play opening quarter. They get it over to Barry. Pulls up, deep three, right wing, and he drains it. Nice ball screen there, and a big three from the right wing. Barry knocks it down, and Greenbrier's got the lead. That was a good shot with the, with the time running out on him. Shot clock running out there. Marshall gets it out high to her shutter. Over it goes now to Nail, back up top to Marshall. Marshall pulls up three himself, and he drains one from the top of the key. Well, he man. answers one tit for tat. Well, JB, that was deep, too. Like, like you said, tit for tat. 5-3, BB lead with 6-0-1 to play opening quarter. Reese Jones on the other end, driving through the lane. A little bit out of control, however, and he traveled with the basketball. Potentially might have gotten fouled on that drive, but I think that's what he was looking for there. Um, probably early in the play. But good defense from BB nonetheless. They forced the turnover, and it's 5-3, their lead with the basketball. Marshall's got it over on the left wing. Runzik's out on him. Runzik's been a big player for Greenbrier here early. They left Marshall on the pick and roll, and he drains th another one. Top of the key, three, Riley Marshall. He just drained three more points. He's got six on the night. It's 8-3. to three. Timeout on the court with 5.40 to play opening quarter, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, Four M. Out of the timeout, Jack Runzik will bring it up across the timeline. He'll be the point guard, gives it over to Jace Dunlap, right wing. Up top it goes to Reese Jones, now to Runzik. Nice ball movement, just trying to throw it around the perimeter. Dunlap's got it now, looking to drive through the lane. Shots up, blocked. Nice save, Hayes Johnson, though, and he puts it back up and in. That's a great play there from Johnson. He's got two points on the night, and it's 8-5. to five. On the other end, Brooks nail through the lane. He'll kick it up over. It goes to Hershire. Up top now to Marshall. Over it goes left wing to her, her camp to nail over to Marshall looking to drive. They cut off his drive, but they kick it out in the corner three from Hershider. Too strong off the back of the iron. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Marshall. Greenbrier will get the basketball. You're going to see him try to get the ball to Marshall every time they get down court. He is their guy. He's a darn good one. He is. Jack Runzik will have it across the timeline now. Top of the key looking to drive. And he tried to bounce pass over to Reese Jones, but he – Runs it, couldn't quite contain it, and he throws it away. Eight to five, our score after the turnover. Greenbrier's got two early turnovers, and that's typically not what you want to do here in the early onset. Brooks Nail will have the basketball for the Badgers. Spin move, top of the key, looks for the driving Marshall, but he couldn't get it to him. Now he drives the baseline all the way to the basket, too strong off the backboard. Gets his own miss, though, puts it back up and in, and now it's 10 to five BB. They've got a five-point lead. That was Brooks Nail. Followed his own miss. He's got two points in the game. 10-5 BB lead with 4.21 to go in the opening quarter. Jack Runzik has it out high. He gives it over to Jace Dunlap, right wing. Now he goes and lobs it over to Aiden Barry on the left side. Barry brings it out high up to Runzik now with 18 to shoot. They give it over to Dunlap. Top of the key, Barry. Ball fake. Looks to drive. Now over to Runzik, driving baseline. Feeds it on the low block to Hayes. Johnson, right place, right time. Johnson puts it in. 
That was a good give right there, good make. Johnson's got four points tonight, and it cuts the lead to three. Marshall on the other end. He's a Harding commit. Gets it over in the right wing to Brooks Nail. Nail out high. It goes to Brewer. Now over to Marshall. Pull up three on a ball fake. Fading away. Won't go. Rebound to Jack Runzik, and Greenbrier looks to push. In the front court now. Runzik now starts to slow it down. Gives it over to Dunlap. Thought about a three. Kicks it over to Jones. He'll try the three. In and out. No good, though. And Rebound pulled down by Brooks now for the Badgers. 3.23 to play opening quarter. 10-7 hour score. Badgers up by three. Brooks now with a ball fake. Dunlap, good defense. Bounce pass through the line. They kick it out. Marshall, one more top of the key. They keep spinning it around. Brewer three won't go from the left wing. And the rebound to Greenbrier. Looking to push. Aiden Barry on the other end. Now he slows it down. He's got Runzik all alone. Top of the key for the tie. Won't go on the three-point try. And rebound to the Badgers. Marshall will get it on the other end across the timeline. Runs it, excuse me, that's runs it out on him. Over goes to Brewer, back to Marshall. Nice move. Picks it down low, but ball knocked away by Johnson. Johnson's playing really good basketball. He is. Up top it goes now to Brooks Nell, and they'll start it over. 17 to shoot on the shot clock. Greenbrier trying to hold with the defense. They get it over. It goes to Hershider. Top of the key, Brewer. 10 to shoot. Now it goes Marshall. He'll pull the trigger on a three, won't go, and down low to get the rebound is Reese Jones. That's what we got to do right there, force them to take shots they don't want to take. And that is not a good look. No. 2.24 to go opening quarter. Aiden Barry kicks it over to Reese Jones, right wing through the lane. Off the glass, won't go, but he traveled with the basketball, trying to get the Euro step. That's the second turnover there on the travel from Jones, and B.B. gets the basketball back. One thing B.B.'s not done is they really haven't turned the ball over much. No, and they shoot at a high clip, so you've got to force them to shoot shots they don't want to shoot, which we've done the last few times down court, which has is, is turned out to be a success for us. That's the third turnover of the night for Greenbrier. 10-7, our score. B.B.'s up with 2.13 to go in the opening quarter. They got Brooks Snell out high. Subbing into the game for B.B. is Ethan Godwin. They got Marshall, though, over on the low block. Spin move underneath the basket. Puts it up with a right hand, and he got it. Jacob Mathis entered the game, and he committed the foul. And Riley Marshall will have an opportunity at an one. He's got eight points tonight, trying to make a nine. Marshall with one free throw coming here, trying to make it a three-point play, and he does. He's got nine points tonight. 13 to seven hour score, but BB's gonna sub in another. It looks like Daniel Clemens will come into the game and Brewer will take a seat for the Badgers. They're up by six. End of the game now for Greenbrier is Spencer Melton, the junior. Melton over to Jacob Mathis. Josh Robinson's in the game as well. Mathis kicks it out high, it goes to Melton. Melton to Dunlap, top of the key, three, two strong. Battle for the board, Clemens comes out of there with it for the Badgers. They look to push. Marshall, other end, top of the key to nail. He looks to drive, kicks it over in the corner. Clemens, corner three, won't go. Rebound to Melton. Greenbrier down by six with a minute 32 to go. Looking to push other end. Aiden Barry's got it out high. He pulls the trigger with a man in his face. Won't go. Mathis, the offensive board. Backs his way in. Spin move. Shot won't go. Mm, Might have got away with a foul there. Mathis was hit hard, but no call. 13 to seven, hour score. Nail the other side for the Badgers. Dunlap's on him, crossover, double crossover, spin move through the lane, bounce pass underneath. They're gonna get a foul called. Wow. Basket counts and one. Boy, it's a big shot there from Godwin. He's got a chance for a three point play now. Boy, goodness. Not sure who the foul was on. Looks like it might've been on Dunlap. It certainly wasn't on Barry. He got all ball from the backside. Yeah, he did. 15 to seven hour score. BB's coming out guns a blazing. They're hot early. Three-point try on the free throw there from Godwin is up and good. He's got three points tonight. It's like Eli Weaver's in the game. Eli Weaver. He's a heck of an athlete. He is. He'll bring it across here in the front court. Greenbrier's down 16-7 to with 103 to play in the opening quarter. Weaver gets a double screen out high. Back it goes Mathis, top of the key. Thought about a three. Now he gives it off to Melton. Over it goes to Weaver, to Barry in the corner. Aiden will kick it back up top to Weaver, and they'll set it back up. 17 to shoot. Mathis in the corner. BB's out in a 2-3 zone. Greenbrier's going to try to figure out a way to shoot him out of it. Top of the key it goes. Melton for the three. Won't go. Robinson underneath the offensive board, though, and he couldn't put it back up and in. BB the uh, the defensive board. They'll go the other way with 33 seconds to shoot. Three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. 
underneath Marshall, and he travel. Oh, they're going to call travel indeed. Marshall got a little too fancy underneath, and he turns it over. That's the first turnover of the night for BB. And the shot clock a, will be off now. I don't think they have a foul, do they? I don't think they do. 20 seconds to go. Aiden Berry on the other end gives it out to Mathis with 16 to play in the opening quarter. 16-7. BB's up by nine. Greenberg needs a big basket here on the final possession. Weaver trying to lob it down low. Marshall, good defense. Scramble for the ball. Marshall came down hard. Mathis through the lane. Euro step, and he's fouled, but he'll go to the line to shoot free throws. But Marshall came down hard, and he might have rolled his ankle. Oh, no, no. He, I didn't realize he was down. We, he, is, he is their guy, and he's not one we want to see down. It was on that ball that Weaver tried to lob it into the low block to Robinson, and he came down hard on the loose ball. We just hope he's okay. Yeah. Looks like he just rolled his ankle. Yeah, I think he rolled it. Probably be okay here in a little bit. Get a little, a little of that pain worked out. But a great decision. Mathis did a great job drawing the foul there yep. with 2.8 seconds. That's not going to give BB much time to develop a right. shot. But uh, for Mathis, he did a couple of free throws. So Mathis on for his first points of the night. Let's see if he can get it. First free throw from Jacob is up and good alignment, but he hit it a little too short. Second try coming right here, trying to cut it to an eight-point game. 2.8 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Make or miss, got to play defense after the free throw. Mathis got that one, his first points of the night. Cuts the lead to eight. Other end, they got a three-point try coming ahead from Shetler. It goes away long, and that'll be the score we have at the end of one. 16 to eight. BB leads it by eight. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier. And we're back here inside of Devil Dog Stadium. 16 to 8, BB shot. Came out guns a blazing. They lead it up by eight. Doubled up on Greenbrier after one quarter of play. We're we're just not shooting well outside right now. We're you know we're making our buckets inside, and that may be what we have to do. Just find those open open openings down low and take them because we're just not getting a lot of uh, a lot of action outside that's working for us. Greenbrier will go with Eli Weaver, Jack Runzik, Josh Robinson. Spencer Melton and Jacob Mathis, the same five that were out there to finish the first quarter. BB has the basketball to start the second quarter. Out high is Heerkamp with it. He gets it underneath on the low block to Godwin. Right-handed hook shot through the lane won't go, and Eli Weaver the board looking to push. Mathis, other end. Slows it down, gives it off to Weaver. Ball fake. Ah, they call a travel. I don't know if I agree with that one. Nonetheless, it's a turnover, and Greenbrier turns the basketball over for the fourth time tonight. That happens a lot, though, where you'll see that it little does. ball thick. I thought he, he didn't leave, leave his feet at all, but apparently he did. My opinion really doesn't matter. <laughs> Zach Burr will have it on the right wing for BB. They're up by eight trying to extend it. Godwin's got it over to Nail. Nail out high. It goes to here camp over to Godwin. Godwin kicks it over up top to here camp. They keep swinging around the corner. Greenbrier playing the man-to-man. Weaver's out high on Nail. Six to shoot. BB's going to have to give Ellip a play. Nail, spin move, picks up his dribble, bounce pass. Godwin, three with a man on. They call a foul. They call a foul on Robinson. Not a great call. Robinson wow. called for it. and Boy, he shot the ball quickly. Robinson was on him tightly there, Matt, but I don't know if I agree with that. Mm. Bailed him out. No, in the yeah, last, Godwin's sure. got three free throws coming right here. Godwin's first free throw is up and no good. He'll have two more. I'll tell you what, without Riley Marshall in the game, they, they have a tough time getting getting things open. If you notice, this time was the first time they've really had a tough time getting it inside. 
you know, Riley's just that good. He creates things. No doubt about it. Godwin for this third free throw coming here. He missed all three of them. Jacob Mathis the board. He kicks it out to Eli Weaver, and Weaver will bring it across the timeline. They let, leave him alone out high. Could have pulled something if he wanted. Now they look to set something up. Weaver looking to drive here. Behind the back dribble. Now a spin move. He'll hand it off over to Melton with 19 to shoot. Mathis ball fake to Melton. Kicking it around Runzik. Runzik through the lane. Might have got fouled. No call. Rebound. Hayes Johnson up. Oh, loose basketball now. And BB comes out of there with it. Neither team can buy a bucket. Brooks now on the other end for the Badgers with 631 to play in the opening quarter. He kicks it over to Shetler. Shetler out high. It goes to Brewer. Back to Shetler. We got a foul underneath. It's going to be on Hayes Johnson. Oh, it's going to be an offensive foul. That one's going to be on here, Camp. Offensive foul. Or, excuse me, that was on Godwin. 16 to 8 hour score after the, the turnover there. That's an offensive foul and BB's second turnover of the night. Spencer Melton will inbound to Eli Weaver, and Greenbrier will have the basketball. Neither team has scored here in the, in the second quarter, rather. 6.18 to go in this second quarter. And Jack runs it, has got it out high. He kicks it over to Melton. Melton gets a screen from Johnson. Now he crosses it over, dribbles through the lane, kicks it out to Weaver. Ball freak, jump step, and they're going to call a foul, I do believe. Indeed, it is the call. Greenbrier will sub in three. Jace Dunlap, Reese Jones, and Aiden Berry come in. Mathis Weaver and Melton will take a seat. And with 6.07 to play until halftime, 16 to 8, BB's got the lead. Dunlap will be the trigger man. They gift it in to Runzik, ball fake, dribbles through the lane, kicks it out high, and there's a travel. Ah, that's not a travel. That's another travel call. It's the fifth one for Greenbrier. I, I don't know what the travel was there. I mean, if anything, you might have could have called a foul on him. But, boy. I'm with you. Not really sure of the call there, but Brooks Nail will have it for BB out high. He kicks it over to Brewer. Brewer gives it over to Taylor Smith into the game now for the Badgers. Nail dribbles between his legs. He pulls back, step back three, air ball. Rebound to Reese Jones. Greenbrier trying to be the first team to score in the quarter. They feed it to Dunlap. Baseline drive, Johnson underneath, and Johnson's playing his tail he off. Is. He's playing well. Great feed from Dunlap. Johnson's got six, and it cuts the lead to six. You know, he's long, and, and he's got to use that. You're no, no doubt about that. They got it out high. It goes to Taylor Smith. Runs it out on him here in the man-to-man. -man. Smith. Hands it off to Heercamp. Out high it goes to Hershider. Over it goes Smith. One more to nail in the corner. Dunlap's on him. 13 to shoot here on the shot clock. They look to double team. Nail backs his way in, picks up his dribble. Step back from the low block. Won't go offensive board. BB, though, second shot won't go, and Greenbrier's got the board. Aiden Berry with a basketball for the Panthers. Looking to drive. Kicks it over Runzik. Ball fake from the left wing. Got Berry. Top of the key. Three. No good. Battle for the board. Jones tipped it around, but BB comes out of there with it. And Brooks Nail will have it for the Badgers with 4.41 to play until halftime. And it looks like BB wants a timeout. We'll take the timeout with them. 4.40 to go until halftime. BB's up 16 to 10. We'll be right back. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank. American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier. And here we go out of the timeout. Greenbrier go with Dunlap. Reese Jones, Runzik, Aiden Berry, and Hayes Johnson. He's got the most points for the Panthers with six. Taylor Smith with the basketball for BB. Tried to lob it down low, and they kick it back out. Now Riley Marshall will set something up. Dunlap playing out on, high on him. Marshall through the lane. Floater gets it to go. Can't leave him open. Marshall's got 11, and it's 18 to 10. I'll tell you, though, Dunlap played good defense, but then Marshall got that step around him, and that's what got him in trouble. 
Jace Dunlap has it out high. It goes now to Barry. Kicks it over, Runzik, three ball from the corner, too strong. Johnson battled for the board, wow. Tipped around, Greenbrier's got an offensive board. All thanks to Hayes Johnson, who's playing his tail off. They get it over to Dunlap, new set of, set of shot clock here with 25 seconds to shoot. Bounce pass is gonna be knocked away, out of bounds, and Greenbrier turns over another one. That's the sixth turnover for Greenbrier. That is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, absolutely, JB. 18 to 10 hour score, 3.51 to go until halftime. BB's up by eight. Greenbrier's got Dunlap, Runzik, Jones, Barry, and Hayes Johnson. BB goes with Marshall, Nail, Hershider, Heerkamp, and Brewer, the original starting five. They kick it out, deep three, Marshall, left wing, too short, rebound to Dunlap, looking to push. Doesn't have numbers, though, so he starts to slow it down. That wasn't a good shot. And he loses the basketball. They try to kick it around. They're going to call a walk, and that's another turnover. That is the seventh turnover for Greenbrier. BB's winning the turnover battle. BB's only got two turnovers. Greenbrier's yeah. got seven. Yeah, you can't you can't turn the ball over as often as we, we're doing right now and expect to be in a close game. We're turn, turning it over to high clip right now. 3.23 to play until halftime. Brooks Snell's got it out. How bounce pass over it goes to Heerkamp. Up top to Hershider. Reese Jones is out on him. Three ball Brewer from the right wing. Got it. Now they've doubled him up. They're up by 11. Brewer's got five now, and it's 21 to 10. Eli Weaver brings it out in the front court. Gives it over to Aiden Berry. Up top runs it. Left wing to Jones. Corner to Johnson now. They swing it around. Around the horn with 21 to shoot. Through the lane, Barry, and he gets a foul. That was a good take right sure there. Sure was. Greenbrier only has three scores tonight thus far. Hayes Johnson's got six. Aiden Barry's got three. And Mathis has got one. That's the ten points for the Panthers. It looks a little lopsided on the other end. BB's got most of their scoring done for Miley Marshall. As the first free throw from Barry's up and no good, he'll have one more. It's like I mentioned in the pregame, JB. If we if we're cold outside, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for us. We've got to start making shots. Barry's got a second free throw. That one falls. Barry's got four points. Cuts the lead to ten. Twenty-one to eleven. Our score with two fifty-four to play until halftime. And Brooks Nail for the Badgers will bring it up. They've held Nail to only two points tonight. But Marshall's been the one that's killed him. Marshall's got it now, drives through the lane. Floater won't go. Battle for the basketball. Marshall comes out of there with it. Might have got fouled. They keep it, though, and they get it out high to Brooks Snell with 28 to shoot, and they'll reset. He Crossover dribble through the lane. Nice feed to Clemens into the game. Up and under move. Won't go. Green by the board. Runzik's got it looking to push. He feeds it over to Weaver. One more. Jones back to Weaver. Three ball from the left wing, and he drains it. That cuts the lead to seven. Weaver pops for the three and cuts it down to seven. Good look there from Weaver as yeah, he drained the three. They got Brooks Nail out high with it. Kicks it over. It goes to here camp. They swing it around to Nail again. Nail out high. It goes to Marshall. He's been the one. He's got 11 points tonight. 11 of their 21. Runs it out on high. Get on out on him. He gets a screen from here camp. Over it goes left wing to Nail now with 10 to shoot. Johnson's out on him. Greenbrier playing a good defense. Crossover dribble, nearly got it stolen. Picks up his dribble on the low block. Jump shot won't go. Clemens got the ah. board, and Jones fouled him. Yeah, he got him. On the follow-up, and Jones fouled him. We got a re rebound on the defensive side. Certainly got to. Clemens got good position. Jones was down there, just couldn't quite box him out. And Clemens will have a couple of free throws coming right here. First free throws up from Clemens, and he knocks it down. He'll have one more, 22 to 14 hour score. BB's up by eight. Clemens has one more to come with 142 to play in the half. Got them both. He drains both free throws. And Eli Weaver will bring it up on the other end with a minute 34 to go. Mathis over it goes to Rundick out high to Weaver. They kick it left wing to Jones, top of the key, Mathis now. Brooks nails that on him. Mathis lost the handle, now he gets it back. Gives it over to Weaver now with 13 to shoot. 
Looking for a ball screen out high, gets it from Robinson, crosses over, feeds it over to Jones, trying to drive baseline through the lane, up and under, won't go, rebound to BB. Good defense from the Badgers. Marshall bringing, or coming up in the backcourt there limping, but looks like he's okay. Brooks Snell's got it out high, tipped away by Weaver, and he picked his pocket. Weaver goes coast to coast on their end. That should have been goaltending. Weaver knocked it down anyways. 23-16 after the steal there from Weaver. Nice play there by the athletic sophomore. And Riley Marshall will have it out high with 42 seconds to play until halftime. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Brooks Nails got it out high to set something up. Weaver's out on him. He picked his pocket a moment ago. Nail better be careful. Tries to drive, cuts off his drive. Nine to shoot. Nail picks up his dribble, or excuse me, cuts back. Now he gives it over on the left wing to Brewer. Out high it goes to Nail again, looking to drive. Shot up, won't go. Rebound. Robinson might have hit out. They're going to say it's off of Godwin, but Robinson got hacked from behind. No call. And with 16.9 seconds to play until halftime, Greenbrier can hold for the final shot if they so desire. Weaver brings it up with 13. Looks to the sideline and Coach Simmons to get a play. 10 seconds, gonna have to send something up quickly. Seven seconds, crossover dribble, drives through the lane, tipped around, Weaver's got it back with three to shoot. Up high, Runzik lost the basketball, BB's got it, and Greenbrier won't get a shot away. You gotta score on that side. You gotta score when you come down right there <coughs> before the half. Well, BB did a good job defensively. You're exactly right, Greenbrier needed to capitalize. Couldn't do it, 23-16 hour score at the halftime break, and we will take a break. When we come back, we'll look at the halftime stats. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Choose First Security. Banking is just the beginning. Here, we take care of each other, making the community we all share even stronger. So people in Arkansas can build a life, buy a home, run a business, and more. Strength in numbers and neighbors. It's another way First Security helps Arkansas bank better. And it's why you should call on us today. First Security, bank better. Insurance policies can be confusing. Oftentimes you settle for the minimum coverage required without considering what truly needs to be protected. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need. We'll help protect your assets and get you the best price so you have peace of mind when it matters most. Whether it's actively looking for savings or gaps in coverage, we forge personal relationships necessary to give you confidence that you're covered no matter what the situation. Don't wait for the worst case scenario to find out if you're covered. Experience more coverage, more savings, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. What do you do when you have electrical problems? Need new electrical installation? Or need to add security and datacom to your home or office? i tell you what I do. I call Grand Brothers Electric Security and Datacom. A family-owned and ran business with over 70 years combined experience, specializing in residential, commercial, and industrial service. No matter the job, how big or small, just give them a call at 501-679-3393. Grand Brothers Electric Security and Datacom. They'll keep the lights on. Hey, guys, this is Freeman Collier with Collier Roofing. We're a locally-owned roofing contractor. We do residential and commercial roofing. We do shingles, metal, and seamless gutters. If there's a project that you'd like an estimate on, please give our office a call at 501-733-5163. We look forward to helping you. giant fat burger over the city. Civilians have been asked to grab napkins and shelter at their dining tables. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, 
Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom. Steak and Shake. Call your roofing. And we're back here inside of Devil Dog Stadium. We're about two and a half minutes away from the second half. Greenbriars trails the Badgers 23 to 16. And the story of the game has been Riley Marshall. Marshall's been really good. He's got 11 points tonight, and he's been really good. He's got 11 of their 23. But I tell you, on Greenbriars side, Hayes Johnson's got six, but it seems like 20. He's been doing it all on the defensive side, getting boards. Coach Simmons has got to be really happy with him tonight. Yeah, for sure. You know, we're going to have to get Josh Robinson into the, in the, into the action. You know, his big body, he's, he's picked up a couple offensive boards, uh, just hasn't been able to put it back up. And, you know, he's the one that can clean up a lot for you, and that's what we need because we're not shooting at a high clip right now. Uh, you know, if we, can, if we can shoot the ball a little better outside and, and, and you know, utilize him and, and Hayes down low, you know, we can get back in this ball game. But, you know, Marshall's going to be a force to the end. You know, he is still limping around, I notice, and, you know, hopefully that's just a minor little thing. I'm sure it is or he wouldn't be playing, but uh, he, he's definitely – somebody that's, that, that can hurt you at any second. No doubt about it. Greenbrier 7-0 trying to remain unbeaten. And I tell you, you're right. To beat that 2-3 zone that BB likes to put together, there's two things. You've either got to shoot your way out of it or you've got to figure out a way to get Robinson or whoever's in the low post involved so they'll crash and open up the passing lanes. That's about it. I mean, you've got to figure out something. Greenbrier wasn't able to do that well in the first half, but I'll tell you, the biggest reason for that is seven turnovers to BB's three. That, that's costly. You look four turnovers, down seven points. You know, you're looking at maybe a three or four point game if, if, it's, if you're not turning the ball over so much. Excuse me, eight turnovers after that turnover yeah. there at the end of the half. Those are, those are eight points that, or eight possessions where you're not getting any that's points. That's right, that's right. Let's say you shoot at a 50% clip. Well, you get half of those. You get half of those. That's back, a tie ball game. You're, you're back in the game. That's right. 23 to 16 hour score with 25 seconds to play. We'll give you the overall scoring for Greenbrier. Not a whole lot of scoring. Greenbrier's only got 16 points at the halftime break. But leading the way is Hayes Johnson with six points tonight. But I tell you, he's been big on the board. He's been big on the defensive side as well. Aiden Berry's got four points. He's a sophomore. Eli Weaver's got two points. And Jacob Mathis has one. And for the BB Badgers, leading the way, Riley Marshall, he's got 11. They got Zach Brewer with five points. Ethan Godwin's got three. Daniel Clemens has two. And Brooks Nail has two to come to the total of 23 points. And that's the margin that BB leads it at, 23 to 16. Greenbrier will go with Jack Runzik, Jace Dunlap, Reese Jones, Hayes Johnson, and Aiden Berry to begin the second half. BB will go with Hershatter here, Camp, Clemens, Brewer, and Brooks Nail. Greenbrier will have the basketball to begin the second half. Jace Dunlap will be the trigger man. He'll inbounds to Runzik in the backcourt. Is Marshall not in? Don't believe so. They'll inbound to Runzik, and the second half is underway. Jace Dunlap kicks it out high left wing to Jones, lobs it for Runzik. Coming out, guns a blazing. Little jump shot from the low block. Runzik got it, his first points of the night. Nice bucket there from Runzik. He's got two, and the lead's been trimmed to five. They get it over left wing to here camp, driving through the lane. Brewer, and that's an offensive foul. Brewer came in a little out of control. Nice charge there. Not sure who took the charge, but I don't either. There were two or three guys there. Greenbrier gets the basketball back after the turnover. Runs it, kicks it over to Dunlap, left wing to Jones. To Runzik again on the low post. Ball fake through the lane, gets a foul. Hey, give it to Runzik, make him make plays. He's doing it early. Well, he he's typically your scorer. Him and him and Barry both. You know, you gotta get you gotta get him the ball and let him make, try to make something. BB doesn't like what they see. Head coach Roger Franks will take a timeout. We'll keep it here, though. 23 to 18. Greenbrier is up by five with 7.29 to play in the third quarter. I don't see Marshall on the bench either. I wonder if he may be getting taped up. Well, you could. There was a play earlier in that first half there in the second quarter where, as he was coming in from the back court there, he was limping. I saw him limping down court. And, uh, you know. He's, uh, he's one that, that, that he's such a big part of that BB team. They're, they're going to miss him if he can't play. They sure are. 
We're not too upset about it, to be quite honest. <laughs> well, we don't want it to be but hurt. You know, but, yeah, but, but, yeah. but on that, absolutely. absolutely. Not, not wishing anything on him. I'm just saying he's their leading scorer. Yeah. If, we, if we didn't have to see him the rest of the night, that wouldn't hurt our feelings, right? Wouldn't hurt mine, not at all. <laughs> but we do certainly hope he's okay, absolutely. Greenbrier, he's a good ball player. He certainly is. Greenbrier, after the timeout here, runs it will be at the free throw line. He'll shoot two free throws, a chance to cut it to a one-possession game. Hadn't been a one possession game since it was five to two yeah. early in the first quarter. Seven twenty nine to go in this third quarter. Runzik's first free throw is up and not the Bennett. Made it look easy, didn't he? He did. We've not shot free throws well this game. It's good to see him get the first one. And I sure hope you didn't jinx him. No, Second didn't. free throw from Runzik. You didn't. Runzik drains <laughs> it and he cuts it to a one possession game. They'll come up in on man to man, full court man. Dunlap playing out high on Brooks' nail there in the backcourt. Now they're looking at a double team. Nail beats the press. Gives it out high. It goes to Heercamp. Back to Nail. 23 on the shot clock. They give it over to Heercamp. Over on the left wing, Johnson's out on him. Out high goes Nail. Nearly lost the basketball. Kicks it over to Hershatter. Up top to Nail. 11 to shoot. Between the leg dribble. Nearly lost it. Now he gets it back. Floater through the lane, too strong, and then it rattles home. Wow, got a good <laughs> bounce. Good shot. That was a good shot. That sure was there from Nail. He's got four points, extends the lead back up to five, and Jack Runzik will bring it across the timeline. Over goes to Barry, out high to Jones. He feeds it over to Barry, but he brings it back out. Didn't have a great look. They'll swing it around. Johnson to Jones, looking to drive. Got Johnson, ball fake in the corner three. Back out to Jones. Right wing three from Reese, won't go. Johnson battles for the offensive board. Loose basketball, gets it back, and then they block it. Hey, but how about Johnson battling for that board? Yeah, for sure. They look to push, lead court pass to Brewer. Pulls up, jump shot, offensive. got it to go, but it's an offensive foul, so the basket's waved off. That was on Clemens. Greenbrier, after the offensive foul, will have the basketball. That's another turnover there for BB. their fifth turnover of the night. Greenbrier's got eight turnovers. They're trimming that margin. I think they had two fouls in the first half, and now they've got two two or three already this half. Looks like three on the board there, yeah. Runs it, gives it over to Johnson right wing. Up high it goes to Jones, over left wing to Runzik, to Barry. Three ball, top of the key, Aiden Barry. He drains that one, and he cuts it to a two-point game. That's Aiden Barry's first points. Nope, excuse me. That's his seventh point of the night. Excuse me. Out high, Brooks now gets a screen from Godwin. Picks up his dribble now, and then he throws it away. He threw it away. He had Brewer out high, but that pressure from Jace Dunlap yeah. caused him some problems. They're a little rattled right now. They're letting, the, letting us back in the game. And Basketball's a game of runs. That's right. Greenbrier's trying to ride it right now up. Or excuse me, down by two, trying to tie it up. They lob it down low. Barry kick it. Dunlap three for the lead. Nothing but net. Jace Dunlap from the corner. His first points of the night. And Greenberg is up by one. Their first lead of the night. Well, it's as I mentioned earlier, JB, you know, when we're making shots outside, we're hard to beat. They give it over to right wing to Brewer. Up high it goes to Hershotter. Trying to lob it down low. Godwin, but we got a foul underneath on Johnson. He pushed him underneath. The right got call. Back a little bit. Yeah, sure did. Hey, not a bad foul no, necessarily. No. Well, the high the high pass made it kind of obvious. He had to go up and get it, and makes it, makes that yeah, forearm in the back it, noticeable. Look, that is right. That's exactly right. Brooks nails the trigger man here on the baseline, giving into Clemens driving the lane. Floater won't go, but Godwin's there for the putback. Got to be on the backside there, ready to rebound. He's got the five points tonight there on the second chance opportunity, and BB's got the lead back to one. 27-26 with 5.03 to go in the opening quarter, or excuse me, in the third quarter. Aiden Berry trying to feed it over to Runzik. Ball was tipped away and out of bounds by Hershider with 4.59 to go in the third quarter, not the opening. It's the opening quarter of the second half. That's right. Jay Stunlap on the baseline looking to inbound. Going to have to hurry. He'll get it in to Reese Jones right wing all alone three. He pulls the trigger and he drains it. Greenberg is heating up from outside. I like to like to see the confidence there in Reese after missing a couple to go back out and put one in. Greenberg is up by two. Brooks nail on the other end. Crossover gets a screen from Godwin. Over it goes to Clemens left wing. To the top of the key, Hershider over to nail. He drives baseline on Dunlap. Shot up, and he's fouled by Dunlap. 
Brooks Nell knows how to draw a foul, and he's really he good at it. Yeah, and good good on us there to not give up the basket. If you're going to foul him, don't let him make it. No, you're exactly right. Brooks Nell, he's definitely outside of Marshall. He's the second best player on the team. Plays with his body. He brings a lot of fouls. Good players will do it. Yep. Makes his free throws, too, as he knocks down the first one there. He's got five points on the night. Trying to make it six as his second free throw is coming right here. His here camp checks back into the game for the Badgers, and and Ethan Godwin will take a seat. Second free throw from Nail is up and good. He ties the ball game up at 29. He's got six points tonight. And Jack Runzik will bring it up across the timeline. Gives it over to Dunlap out to Reese Jones. Jones driving through the lane. Floater with good the right time. hand. Got it to go. Jones has got five points tonight, and Greenbrier's up by two. Back-to-back -back possessions, Jones has come through. Brooks now will bring it out high in the front court. Greenbrier looking to trap in the half court. They lob it over to here, Camp. Back up top to Nell with 21 to shoot. He'll lob it over to Brewer. Brewer back to Nell. 14 to shoot. Looking to drive. Now he kicks it off Brewer. Feeds it underneath here, Camp. Low block. Jump shot won't go. Battle for the board. Runs it. Comes out of there with it. Now he slows down the pace, and he gives it off to Dunlap in the backcourt. They feed it up. Barry, three-point look, no good, but Runzik's right there for the board and the putback. Greenbrier's up by four, their biggest lead of the night. 3.39 to go. Great job by Jack right there to have the concentration to get the ball on the rebound and go back up and score. 3.37 to go in the third quarter. We're going to have a break after the timeout. Greenbrier leads it 33-29. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier. Out of the timeout here, Greenbrier up by four after the made bucket there from Runzik after the miss. Largest lead of the game. 33 to 29, that's exactly right. The Panthers. Eli Weaver, Jacob Mathis, Reese Jones, Josh Robinson, and Jack Runzik out on the floor for the Panthers. BB has it left wing. That's Brooks Snell with 25 to shoot. Weaver's out on him. He weaves his way through the, through the lane. Now he kicks it out. Taylor Smith, right wing three all alone, and he buries it. He come off the bench and gave him one when they needed the most. Smith has three points tonight, his first points of the game, and it cuts the Green Bear lead to one. Eli Weaver, crossover dribble through the lane. He's fouled, Ooh. almost got the end one, but shot wouldn't fall, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. That was a good take there by Eli. Sure was. Almost picked up the bucket. You know, he had the open lane. Why not? Weaver's got two free throws coming right here, trying to extend it to a three-point game. Weaver's first free throw is up and off the right side of the iron. No good. He'll have one more coming right here. 3.05 to play in the third quarter. Greenbrier's up 33-32. to 32. Second free throw from Weaver is up, and he got that one. He's got three points tonight. 34-32, Greenbrier's up by two, and Brooks Nail will bring it up now across the timeline for the Badgers. He'll kick it over to Daniel Clemens on the right wing. Up top, Mathis with a steal. He read that one, picks his pocket, and he lays it up and in on the other end. Oh, and I missed it. I'm sorry. Boy, Jacob <laughs> Mathis with a big steal there. We've, that's my fault. We've had two breakaways, and I missed both of them. Josh Robinson. And I run out on him. Now to Mathis on the other end on Brewer. Greenberg playing intense defense. Here Camp's got it over and out of Smith, and they'll reset. 17 seconds to shoot with 2.28 to go, and the Greenbrier Panther lead is four after that big steal from Mathis and layup on the other end. Brooks now leads it underneath. Mathis again, That's good off defense. His leg, yeah. He slaps it off of Here Camp's leg. That's another turnover for BB, and we're even at eight on the turnover margin. Both teams with eight turnovers. Jacob Mathis with two right back to back. Yeah, I apologize. I'm, 
I'm not the normal cameraman, and so forgive me for my my mess ups here. <laughs> 36-32, BB. Excuse me, Greenbrier up by four with the basketball, trying to extend their lead. Robinson down low, low block, fighting underneath with the right hand, won't go, and yeah, they're going to get Robinson over the back. After the miss, Robinson over the back, and BB gets the basketball back with a minute 57 in the third quarter. Matt, you're okay. Just don't ever let it happen again. <laughs> don't ever again, right? <laughs> I feel real bad because Sean's over here, and Jacob gets a, a, a layup down court, and I didn't even get it. Don't worry, it's the thought that counts. Now they're still here, Reese Jones, you got that one. Jones through the lane, lays it up and in. Jones picked his pocket there, he read the pass and jumped it. He lays it up and in on the other end and it's 38 to 32. Taylor Smith brings it up for the Badgers. Greenbrier's up by six, Weaver nearly stole that one. Brooks Nail trying to get it, Weaver's out on him. Greenbrier playing with some intense defense. The turnovers are what's killing the Badgers. Weaver knocks it away from Nail, he nearly picked his pocket. Brooks Nail out high with 13 to shoot. Crossover through the lane. Floater goes and knocks it. Wow, good shot yeah. there from Nail. He's good. He's he battled soft through. Touch, soft touch. Sure does. He battled through, and he's got eight points tonight. They get over to Jones. Ball fake through the lane. Little jump shot. Won't go. Rebound to Nail for the Badgers, and now we'll slow it down. 52 seconds to play in the third quarter. Greenbrier's up by four. Thanks to a lot of... A couple of steals by the Panthers, three of them to be to be exact. They got nail over, it goes left wing to Brewer. Mathis is out on him. Brewer kicks it over to Smith. Out high, left wing to nail now with 10 to shoot. He gets a screen. Weaver's on it. Now, Reese Jones tips it away, loose basketball. He walked. Bibi got it back, should have got a walk, got away with one. That was Landon Gordon on the other end. Jones cherry picking through the lane, he's fouled but he couldn't get the basket to go. And with 17 seconds to play in the third quarter, Reese Jones is going to the free throw line to shoot two, but how about it? He read that, saw the, the board was coming, and he leaked ahead yep. and got ahead for the cherry pick. We call that cherry picking. That's right, cherry picking. I was good at that, I, except I didn't usually go down the other end. I just stayed down there. <laughs> Reese Jones' first free throw is up and good. Jones has eight points tonight, and he's trying to make it nine right here. Greenbrier's biggest lead of the night has been five, four, now it's five. Four, yeah. Got a chance to make it six right here. Jones, free throw up, and he got it. He's got nine points tonight. Excuse me, actually, we did have six earlier before. Yeah, I thought it might have been yeah. like 28, or yeah, 28, 20 maybe, or 38, 30. Something like that. 40 30, to 36, 30, I don't know. Something. 40 to 34 now. Greenbrier's lead by six, and with 10 seconds to go, BB's going to hold for the final shot. Nails got it out high, five seconds, picks up his dribble, gives it over to here, Camp. Left wing Smith, they left Brewer open for a three. That's the look they wanted, but he couldn't get it to go. Boy, Greenbrier catches a break there on the open three look. But three quarters of basketball are in the books. Greenbrier leads it 40 to 34. They're trying to close it out and stay unbeaten. We'll hit a break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn's, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier. Well, we're back here inside of Devil Dog Stadium. Greenbrier up by six, trying to close it out and get the win, Matt. What are the keys to success here in the final eight? Well, you you know the second, the third quarter, first and second half, we we shot the ball well, outscored them twenty four to eleven right. in that third quarter, and we've converted off of turnovers, and that's been the, the difference. Greenbrier leads the turnover battle nine to eight. Baby's turned the it over game? nine times. Yep. Wow, and we were it was eight to two, eight to three at eight one point. Three, yeah. yeah. 
Greenbrier has protected the basketball and they forced six turnovers. They lead it by six with 7.55 to go in the fourth quarter and we're underway here as Brooks Nails got it out on high on the right wing. Jace Dunlap's out on him. Greenbrier in a 3-2 zone now. They get a deep three from Brooks Nail, too short off the front of the rim. Scramble for the basketball, Gordon's got it. He'll kick it right wing Brewer for a three air ball and Jacob Mathis comes away with it. Greenbrier looking to push, now they slow it down as they hand it off to Dunlap in the backcourt. Dunlap gives it off to Barry, thought about a three. Gives it off to Mathis now. I wouldn't leave Barry open for a three. Mathis trying to feed it underneath to Robinson, but it wasn't there, and that's a turnover. I think I think with, with Marshall out of the game, Nell is trying to, trying to do a lot more than he normally would. No, he, he sure is. Might have taken an ill-advised three there, though. Six-point lead for Greenbrier. Brooks now will have it in the front court now with 7.15 to play in the basketball game. Left wing to Brewer. They'll swing it around to Hershatter. Lob it underneath. Godwin got a screen. Shot underneath and he's fouled. Not sure who the foul's going to be on. Mathis tried to help Godwin up, but he wasn't having it. <laughs> he sure wasn't. Uh, you know, Jacob did that a lot during football. He just kind of – he just he just reaches out usually when he – He's in a play. Godwin's free throw is coming up here, but I tell you, Mathis reached down and Godwin swiped his hand away and said, oh, I want one of my players to help me up. <laughs> All, right. All right. That's how you want to do it. We'll do it. Free throw from Godwin's up and good. He'll have one more coming right here. That one's too short, oh, but no. underneath open for the shot. That's a foul. Ooh, that was a good-looking play right there. I don't know what he got a foul on. Boy, here can't, though. Good job to get the rebound. Yeah, he was wide open, too. But I, I'm with you. Man, that's a tough one. Well, now it's a five-point game, and here Camp's got a chance to make it a one-possession game if he can make both free throws. He drops the first one as Hayes Johnson checks back into the game for Josh Robinson. That's here Camp's first point of the game. Second free throw from here Camp coming right here. Too strong off the back of the iron. Should have been over yeah. the back, and there it is. Good, 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 good. Brewer jumps over the back of Jacob Mathis. That's a foul on him, and Greenbrier with a four-point lead with 7.03 to go in the basketball game. Spencer Melton into the game now for the Panthers, as well as Hayes Johnson. They both checked into the game. Jace Dunlap, the point guard, brings it ahead. He'll kick it over to Jacob Mathis, left wing, looking to drive through the lane. Trying to pass it over to Johnson, but Dunlap gets it back for the Panthers. They got Barry open, passed up on it. Dunlap pulls up for the jump shot on the elbow. Won't go yeah, offensive, travel. or the, excuse me, the defensive board there from Hershiner, but he traveled with the basketball. But I tell you, Dunlap had Aiden Berry, who's been draining yeah. threes, left him wide open. I think Dunlap just didn't see him. Dunlap the trigger man here. He gets it in to Johnson underneath. Scramble for the basketball. Should be a jump. Now they call the – there's a jump. I thought they were going to call a foul for hey, a second. Too. And I thought they Stays were going to call on Johnson. So Greenbrier will keep the basketball. And he might have could have called it. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. He just had one hand left over in there. <laughs> Jace Dunlap on the baseline looking to inbound. He's got it all on Jones. Three from the inbound air ball. Rebound to here camp. And Brooks Nail will bring it up for the Badgers with 6.35 to go in the basketball game. Nail, step back jumper from the high, from the free throw line, extended, won't go. Aiden Berry's got the rebound behind the back dribble. Other end, nice feed to Dunlap, but it's tipped away and out of bounds by the Badgers. But how about Aiden Berry? Brooks Nail was going for the steal, and Berry said, uh oh, you're not getting that one. That was great behind yeah, the back by the dribble. Back. Yep, it was. Dunlap will be the trigger man on the baseline. Gets it underneath Jones all alone. He got lost in space. They left Jones wide open. He puts it in. Reese Jones. Boy, Reese has got 11. And Greenbrier's up by six with 6'10 to go in the basketball game. Brooks Nell gets a screen out high. This 2-3 zone from the Panthers. They get it over to Brewer. Brewer trying to drive baseline on Melton. Pull up jump shot off the side of the backboard. No good. And we got a foul from behind on Reese Jones. Foul on Jones, should be on the baseline, should be an inbounds. Looks like Jack Runzik's gonna check back in for Spencer Melton. And Brooks Nail will inbound on the, on the baseline after the foul, was 5.59 to go. They inbounds to Brewer, Brewer out high to Clemens. 
Both teams will be in the bonus the rest of the way. They kick it over left wing. It goes to here. Camp Mathis playing good defense out on him. Right wing, it goes to Nail. Dunlap on him. Nail underneath, up and under move, and he got it. Brooks good. Nail with That's another good one. Take. He's That's a good, good basketball take. player. Greenbrier on the other end, up by four. Aiden Barry thought about the three. Barry's a good basketball player, he too. Is. Jack runs it out high. They'll kick it over right wing to Reese Jones. Out high, Dunlap. They swing it around. Mathis to runs it. He'll drive. Ball's tipped away from behind by Brooks Nail. It'll stay with Greenbrier. Good defense from Brooks. Yeah. So it looks like Riley Marshall's on the sidelines now. He's got ice on his ankle, so I figure he's probably done for the night. Certainly hope, hope he's okay. Spring, yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. 5-18 to go in the basketball game. Greenbrier's up by four. Jones the trigger man inbounds to Mathis. They give it back to Jones. Three ball from the corner, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hershider. They give it off to Brooks Snail. Nail over to Hershider. Greenbrier in the 3-2-3 three, three zone. Tipped away. Mathis has got another steal. That's another turnover for the Badgers. Aiden Barry, other end. Ball fake at the top of the key. Drives through the lane, and he's fouled from behind. And Aiden Barry will go to the free throw line to shoot two. How about Jacob Mathis with the tip away there again? He's quick. You know, he plays with such intensity. Puts his body in good positions. Well, he's an athletic player. That's we right. saw that on he's the football just an athlete, field. Yeah. Barry's first free throws up and coming oh, short, on, off, short off the front of the rim. He's not one that's going to miss many. No, he's not. Josh Robinson checks back into the game, and Jacob Mathis will take a well-needed rest. He's been all over the place as Barry missed both free throws. Brooks now will have the rebound for the Badgers, and he'll bring it ahead here in the front court with 4.50 to go. Out high it goes here. Camp might have traveled with it. I think he kept his pivot, though. Out high Brewer. Lost the basketball, and Greenbrier gets another turnover. That's 11 tonight for the Badgers. Reese Jones will take it on the other end, out high to Barry. Aiden Barry looking to dribble. Right wing to Runzik. Runzik picks up his dribble, gives it over to Eli Weaver, who's checked into the game. Weaver goes right wing to Runzik. Runzik to Barry. Barry goes right wing to Reese Jones again. Jones looking to drive through the lane. They're going to call a foul on Brewer. That'll mean free throws for Greenbrier. It should be a one and one We just need Reese to come in here and knock them both down. Would be big. Brewer fouled him on the drive. Not a bad foul necessarily because Jones had a beat. Reese will have the one and one Free throw is up, and he got it. Nothing but net from Reese. He's got 12 points tonight, leads the team. I'm glad to see that. He was struggling a little early. Good to see him get into the game. Jones, second free throws up and good. He's got 13, and Greenberry's lead is six. It's a senior coming through when you need him. That's exactly right. Brooks Nail will bring it ahead. Weaver's out on him. Through the lane he goes. Up and under move. Won't go, and Weaver pulls down the board. Lead court pass to Reese Jones, and it's stepped out of bounds, and Greenberry turns it over. They looked to push and tried to get him catch BB napping. Couldn't do it. Well, BB's kind of forcing a lot right now, and Greenbrier's going to take advantage of that. Don't give it back. No doubt about it. 44-38, to 38, Greenbrier up by six with 4.03 to go in the basketball game. And Brooks Nail will bring it across the timeline now. With 25 to shoot. Bounce pass. He nearly threw it away, and Clemens is there to save it. They'll kick it over to Brewer now. Greenbrier in a man-to-man again. Brewer driving through the lane, little one-handed floater, got it to go. Brewer, he's got seven points tonight, cuts the lead to four with 3.32 to go. Greenbrier just trying to hang on to the lead. Weaver's got it out high, bounce pass over to Robinson. He'll dish it off to Reese Jones, they'll swing it around to Weaver. 17 to shoot, Aiden Barry's got it out high. Barry between the leg dribble, looking to drive, spin move, jump shot with a man all over him. Offensive board, Jack Runzik though. He'll kick it out high to Barry and Greenbrier resets. Weaver to Jones, three right wing, too strong off the back of the iron and BB's got the board with three minutes to play. They got Brewer on the other end, wide open three and he drains it. Left him wide open and Brewer drains it. Coach Simmons not happy about it. 
Cuts the lead to one with 2.51 to go. And with the timeout on the court, we're going to hit a break. 2.51 to go. Greenberry's up by one. We'll be right back. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier. Well, out of the timeout, 2.51 to go in the basketball game. Greenbrier will have the basketball out of the timeout. It'll be Jace Dunlap, Jack Runzik. Hayes, Johnson, Reese Jones, and Aiden Berry, the starting five. And here we go. Jace Dunlap will inbound to Runzik. Runzik will bring it ahead across the timeline. Runzik was tipped from behind by Nail. He gets it back, kicks it out. Johnson, right wing three. Wouldn't go. Rebound to Clemens, and BB's got the basketball, a chance to take the lead. Brooks Nail, other end, crossover dribble. Now through the lane he goes with the right hand. He got it to go, and Nail's got a good one. Gives BB a one-point lead, 45-44 with 2.23 to go. Jack Runzik on the other end. BB's got the momentum right now. Greenbrier just trying to figure out a way to put some points on the board. They get it out to Reese Jones. Picks up his dribble on the elbow. They give it off to Dunlap. Right wing feed, it goes to Johnson. Now he kicks it over to Barry. Thought about the three, kicks it out high to Runzik. 11 to shoot on the shot clock. Runzik looking to drive, kicks it over to Jones. To Barry, left wing, six to shoot. Gonna have to figure out something. Barry's gonna pull up here with two. One, three, won't go. Shot clock violation. Greenbrier with the turnover and BB with the basketball with a minute 49 to go now, up by one. That just wasn't a very good possession right there for the Panthers. Well, Aiden Barry trying to set something up there, but yeah. Good defense from BB. They got what they wanted. And now Brooks Nail will bring it up with a minute 44 to go. What they want to do is milk some clock and make a shot. They get it over to Hearshatter, right wing. Out high it goes to Brewer, back over to Hearshatter. Up top, Daniel Clemens, left wing it goes to Brewer. Greenbrier needs to play good defense. 16 to shoot, Mathis nearly jumped that one again. They've got it out high to Brewer with 10 to shoot. Greenbrier playing good defense. A minute 21 to go, but six of the shot clock. Brewer. Crossover dribble, step back, kicks it to Nail, nearly lost it. He traveled. He'll throw up a prayer at the buzzer, no good. Shot clock violation again. Back-to-back -back shot clock violations for both teams. Greenbrier forces the turnover, and they'll get the basketball back. Well, there we go, a minute 11 to go. Not a lot of room for error now. Greenbrier down by one. Weaver brings it ahead in the front court. you got to go the goal right here. Here we go, under a minute to play. 21 seconds in the shot clock, give it to Mathis. Jack runs it to Weaver, back to runs it. Ball fake on the three, through the lane. Right hand floater, won't go. Battle for the board, Brooks Nails got it. And he'll slow it down in the half court now with 42 seconds to go. There's a 15 second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Ten seconds. And that's a 10 second violation, wow. That's costly for Brooks yeah. Nail and BB. I wondered what he was doing. He took his time and boy, Coach Roger Franks is not happy. We'll keep it right here out of the after the turnover. But with 38 seconds to go, the good news is there's a three second differential between the shot clock and game clock. If you're Greenbrier right here, you're down by one. Go score. Find a way to score. Get to the foul line. Draw a foul. BB's going to be playing good defense. They played good defense all night long. Yeah. No question about that. 45 to 44, however. And if you're Coach Simmons, what are you dialing up, Matt? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. Well, what do you think? Well, <laughs> you're cracking me up. 
I, you know, obviously you're figuring out a way to score, but I guarantee you he's talking to his guys. Hey, who do we want the ball? Barry's been really good. Reese Jones has been good, and Jack Runzik. Yeah. But a bit, but again, I think regardless of the score, I think he's talking about, hey, if we don't score, there's still going to be time on the clock. Foul, foul smartly. Try to yeah. get a steal after the miss. But if you don't get a steal, foul, then yeah. you'll still be a one possession game. The good news is Greenbrier's going to be or BB will be in the bonus. They'll shoot a one and one after a miss. So. That's a good thing that they're not the devil bonus. But here we go. Jace Dunlap will be the trigger man after the turnover. He gets it into Runzik with 36 seconds to play. Again, a three-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. They get it over to Dunlap. Jones feeds it underneath the Runzik. Double team. Out high Barry to Jones. That's the look they wanted. The three won't go, but nice rebound by Johnson, and he's fouled underneath. Hayes Johnson got the offensive board, and they fouled him. Got two shots here. Well, the good news is you got an opportunity to at least tie it up. That's right. But if you're Johnson, he wants, both, obviously, both. nothing less than draining them both. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Johnson for the tie. First free throws up. Too strong off the back of the iron, but then it drops home. Hey. Wow. I'd, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. No doubt about it. Johnson's got seven. Goodness gracious. Johnson, hey, at the very least, he's tied it up. Now the pressure's off. Second free throw from Johnson's up. Got them both. Greenbrier's got a one-point lead. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds to go, and Brooks Nell brings it up. BB's got a chance to hold for the final shot and get a winner. Weaver out high. Can't foul. And that's what they did. He fouls him, and now he's going to the line. What was the foul on? I don't know about that one. Everybody up here on the... Uh but the scores table is winning the same thing. Weaver gets the foul. Brooks now. Hey, the good thing is, at least it's a foul with 13 yeah. seconds to go. It's a one and one, so Nell's got to make them both. Free throws up. Too short off the rim. Rebound, Jacob Mathis. They kick it out to Runzik. They're going to have to foul quick. Brooks Nell does with nine seconds, and boy, Nell's kicking himself. He missed the front end of a one and one. Wow, and that's not a guy that's going to miss very many very often. Not at all. Now Greenberg's in the double bonus. So Jack Runzik has an opportunity. He'll shoot two regardless. You'd like to see him drop both free throws yes, right here. for sure. 46-45. Greenbrier's out by one with 9.6 seconds to go. Jack Runzik at the line to shoot a pair. First free throw's up. Hits the front of the rim, drops home. Wow. That's a good one. We, we caught some breaks, hadn't we? we I thought it was going to be short. We have. So it's a two-point game. Runzik's got a chance to make it a three-point game. Free throw's up. Got them both. Runzik drains them both. BB wants a time, or excuse me, Coach Simmons wants a timeout with 8.9 seconds to go in the it's basketball game. Sure is. And now, if you're Greenbrier, you might even think if they get down in the front court, if they've taken a lot of time off, you might, you obviously want to make sure they don't shoot a three, but you might yeah, even think about foul. trying to foul. You're still in the one to one. You're still, they're still in the, going to be shooting a one and one. Well, the only thing about that is, is BB has rebounded very well. No, they sure have. Well, here's the one thing. You certainly don't want to do it too quickly. They, no. They've got to make sure there's times off the clock. What you cannot do is give up an open three. Yeah. That's what you can't do. And you can't foul you on a three foul either. three either, yeah. I know BB, they're going to try to set something up to get it into Brooks Nail's hands or figure out a way to get it over to Brewer. Brewer's had a couple of big threes. Greenbrier's up 48-45. Hey, how about that big – Free throw shooting from Hayes Johnson to give yes. us the lead. Then on the other end, getting well, the miss. One thing, it puts a lot more pressure on Nell when he goes to the line. Sure does. You know, you got you to gotta make that first one tie the game. Sure does. And he missed it. Greenbrier ended up getting the rebound. Jacob Mathis got the board, kicked it out to Runzik. He made both free throws as well. Yep. Gave Greenbrier a three-point lead. But here we go. Hershider for BB and the Badgers will inbounds on the baseline. Greenbrier going to be in a little bit more of a full court press. Going to try to make sure that BB doesn't get a good look. With 9.3 seconds to go as they change the clock. Here we go. Hershatter inbounds to Brooks Nail. He gets ahead. Going to try a three for the tie. Too strong off the back of the iron. Loose basketball. Brewers got it. Shot won't go. Weaver gets the board. And the clock expires. Greenbrier escapes and they pull off the win to stay unbeaten. 48 to 45, the final score. Boy, this one came down to the wire, didn't it? Boy, would you have thought this was going to be the case early in the first half? 
We're it was down, all we're BB. Down 11, you know, and it's not looking good. But, you know, we, we, we made a lot of shots in the second half. We played more. We played tougher defense and, and, and rebounded way better. And, and, you know, of course, it was to, definitely to our advantage that, that Marshall wasn't able to play the second half. No doubt about it. Greenbrier escapes and pulls off the win to improve to 8-0 here in the first game of the Petty Jean Classic. They'll head on and play Maumelle on Thursday night. Maumelle's a good basketball team. They are. So how many points did we finish up with our players? Well, Greenbrier obviously wins the game 48-45. to Reese Jones, he led the way. He had 13 points tonight. Hayes Johnson was right behind him with, with eight points. Or, I'm, excuse me, Runzik also had eight. So both of them had eight. Aiden Berry had seven points. And then Jace Dunlap, Jacob Mathis, and Eli Weaver contributed three. Three apiece. That ended the scoring tonight for Greenbrier as they won it 48 to 45. Top scores for BB. It was actually uh, Brooks Nail. He ended it with 12. But Riley Marshall had 11. 11. Yeah, and that was all in the first half. Zach Brewer had eight points for the Badgers, six points for Ethan Godwin. Taylor Smith had a triple. He had three points. Clemens had two, and Camp had one, and that was the final scoring for the Badgers. But it's your Green Bar Panthers that escape and move on to win it 48-45 to over BB. They'll play Mom Al on Thursday night. Whew, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's going to be tough. That's a tough team to draw right there. Well, you got some, some really – Really good, you know, post guys. Nico Davier out yeah. in the lane. Colby Garlington, he moved in from Magnolia. He's a tough outside player. Great shooter. Good good with the ball, moving the ball. And then Daughtry as well, correct? Yeah. They've got a lot of good ones, and that's going to be a tough one on Thursday night. We will hope to get the broadcast to you. Not sure what we'll be able to do. Not sure if we can get enough of the guys in the crew, but we sure are going to try to. I can... And then the girls play tomorrow yeah. against – Trying to see who they play. Girls do play tomorrow. Guys play Thursday. Girls are play you, tomorrow. Are you here Thursday? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure that's, out. That's what you mean it's, by the guys. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's heavy wedding Could season Could you imagine me. me having to uh, do play-by-play of a basketball game? Matt, you can do it. Uh, dude, I, I just like being here. I, I'm a huge basketball fan, but uh, I'm not the guy to go uh, to side. for the side. basketball knowledge. I'm a real good cheerleader. <laughs> well, the Greenbrier girls will play Lakeside tomorrow. And the boys will play Thursday against Maumelle. I tell you, before we wrap up the broadcast, let's go ahead and name a player of the game. Yeah. I think, obviously, if you look at points. I think I could do that. It's probably it's probably easy to say, but I say. Yeah, I'm going to go with, with, with Hayes Johnson. Yeah. He didn't he didn't score the most points, but he, he scored how many? Eight? Yeah, eight points. Eight points, but he, defensively he was just, you know, he was he was well, great. He made the most of his minutes. That's right. You know, you, you, well, and he also made the two the two free throws that down the stretch put us put us in the lead. So he had ten points. No, he had eight. I, I did it right. Yeah, but he, he had some big de- offensive rebounds, big defensive rebounds as well. Played good defense. There's some other key guys as well. Jacob Matthews had three steals on the night. Reese Jones had a slow start, but he ended the night with 13. How many fouls did Jacob Mathis? He only have one tonight? I think he only had one foul. Hey, if he doesn't get three fouls, he didn't play enough. <laughs> but I'll tell you, he played his tail off. You know, we were joking about Jacob. You know, his first game out, was it Thursday, I believe? Last Thursday, you know, he just played football Friday, so he less than a week in playing basketball. Yeah. Picked up three, fou- or three fouls in about two, three minutes. And <laughs> he was still playing football. <laughs> he, but, you know, you, you think about it, in, in joking aside, but mentally for a guy like him that's such an intense athlete, there probably is something to that. Oh, sure. You, you're, you're going from literally – mindset of all from the beginning of the school year and through summer to hitting people as a linebacker and hitting them hard yeah. and running through. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's definitely the mindset. Kind of reminds you of Devo Davis a little bit yeah. the intensity level. And, you know, we'll see we'll see Thursday night when we play Maumel. You know, we saw Nico Davier play football, and he's a very physical football player. And, and to see how he plays basketball, especially this time of the year, be interesting to see. I bet he's a physical player. Oh, sure. No doubt about that. Well, I tell you, it's been a fun night of basketball. Look forward to doing it again soon. I'm JB Brazil. My partner, Matt McJunkins, we're saying so long here from Devil Dog Arena. See you Thursday, man. We're tonight, Greenbrier.
won it over BB 48 to 45 in the opening round of the Pettigene Classic. We'll see you Thursday. So long. The Greenbrier Panther Sports Network would like to thank all of our sponsors for their continued support. First Security Bank, American Safeguard Insurance, Graham Brothers Electric Security and Datacom, Steak and Shake, Call Your Roofing, Ricochet Outdoors, 4M Landworks, Bleacher Bling, John Simone Bank of England, Chef Lynn, Swanky Southern Boutique and Salon, Oxygen 8 Hyperbarics, and the Children's Clinic of Conway and Greenbrier.